Please help me welcome to the stage Varun Thalvar of the GRPC Project. Like the legend of the Phoenix. <laughs> All right. Hello, so my name is Varun. I'm from the GRPC uh, Project. And uh, start with uh, how many people have heard of GRPC? About half the room. Serious users of GRPC? Less than 5%. All right. OK, hope to change that. Um, so first of all, I want to start with a thank you. I um, think um, we've been out there for about uh, close, close to two years. And you know, I want to thank the community and people out there for you know, trying, com contributing, and you know, standard metrics around uh, stars, forks, Twitter mentions, et cetera, is, is, is um, healthy and great. And we are really excited to be part of CNCF, and we hope it, to take it to the next level. Um, I want to give a little bit of um, sort of background of the project, since it's the first time we are here in this forum. Like, what is the vision and how, how we got about sort of starting the project? So really, the mission is really expansive and broad. And you know, some of you um, may get to feel that, when some of you may not. So really, it's about connecting and operating distributed systems, which is a hard area, make it easy and efficient. Uh, and efficiency is highest performance at uh, low cost of development and low cost of maintaining, right? That's how you get efficiency. So it's across the spectrum. So on the right-hand side, you see the, the, you know, the classic microservices communications. I have a Node app and a Ruby app and a Go app and a Python app. It's about how do I make them communicate in a standard way such that all my developers are using uniform, consistent interfaces. Uh, and not having to think about low layer network. But also goes to span across, can I bring that uniform model of programming onto my front ends, to my browsers, to my mobile apps, and potentially even all the way to IoT. So um, we think the, the, the vision and the scope is, is pretty expansive. Um, but more concretely, what is it today? So it's an open source performant RPC framework. It is the implementation in GitHub is HTTP2 based, uh, but the transport is pluggable. Um, it's secure, so it encapsulates a lot of auth concerns, and you could be using it with TLS or, or Kerberos and, and other uh, ways. Performance at the heart of it, when you start to break monoliths into microservices, you get concerned about communication and latencies, and um, it's, it's tailored with with protobuf as the binary serializer and with all the benefits of http2 like you know multiplexing and so on multi platform um, yes windows is also important <laughs> uh, linux windows and mac and mobile libraries android as well as objective c uh, as well as swift uh, recently from from apple um, and truly in the open right so active development, production ready, uh, um, and now at 1.2. It, at the heart, is about uh, its three, ro three core implementations, C core, which gives you a lot of the wrapped languages. Uh, and Go and Java are their own native implementations. So all the others are wrappers around C. Um, we have um, actively testing the browser support, which is, you know, gets asked a lot. And one other thing I'll mention, which is, you know, everyone here is probably familiar with Kubernetes, which is the equivalent of Borg. And, you know, Google, as it runs its sort of large-scale services, uh, Borg is one big piece of infrastructure, which uh, has been open sourced as Kubernetes. Another, another big piece is Stubby, which is equivalent is gRPC. And in case of gRPC, it's the same open source implementation which you and community get to use and contribute and Google itself will be based on that. So it's one thing uh, and not two projects. So there's uh, a pretty sizable investment even you know, for, for Google uh, behind it. Um, so focusing a little on the cloud side, which is probably where you know, there's more interest, um, we think of RPC as this um, layer which a lot of plumbings have to happen around for it to be usable for customers. They need to be plugging in with stats and tracing, have insights about how their services are running, 
maybe be able to load balance them, plug in with you know, things like name resolver into pluggable service discovery systems, do authentication. So the opportunity to contribute around integrations with other projects. If you work on these areas, then integrations with gRPC are something we are, we think community can actively help us on, not just the core around the gRPC protocol. So we need community to take this to the next level. We think when projects integrate with gRPC, there is um, you know, exponential sort of impact. So example, you know, improbable, for example, there's a gRPC interceptor with Prometheus. So if you run gRPC services, you get monitoring. And you know, the, what I want to say with you know, one plus one not equals two is there's great impact for customers when these projects just run well, because ultimately what you know, everyone wants to do is just, make, just run these things and I don't have to worry about them. So a plug for our sessions tomorrow. Uh, we have two sessions. Uh, we have the core gRPC engineering team here. We have an overview session and talk a little bit about our future plans, uh, as well as a hands-on building and you know, connecting polyglot services. So some of the adopters, uh, and I'm out of time, so I'll stop at that. Thank you. <laughs>